All right, everybody, welcome to part five of Let's Play Super Metroid, and I saved everybody the suffering and horribleness that was trying to bomb up my way through this thing, and with me today I have... Hey there, guys. I am Sonic Ghost. Hey, y'all. It's the Haka 15 and taxes. I think power bombs are taxed. They're, they're pretty expensive. Sounds very taxing. Yes. Uh, I'm at Mass LP Adventures, and yes, under subsection some, some something of the U.S. Oh man, you work, you work at a tax You work at a tax place. You should know the subsection by now. Come on. I don't have the tax bible on me. <sighs> Go get it. The tax bible? I, I've never heard of this. The tax bible. It's, it, 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 it's, it's like. It's the tax yes. free. Ta no, he has three tax bibles actually. Yeah, it's I was ridiculous. about to say it's the people who work in the tax misses. It's their best friend. Indeed. I don't think I would ever be interested in doing a tax kind of career. If you like math a lot, then you're stay away. Not, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> I don't know because I'm in computer engineering. Well, I'm majoring in computer engineering right now. So once you start doing taxes, it's the same thing over and over. Except it probably doesn't involve economics, like computer engine. I mean, it involves uh, economic stuff, and like. Well, down to again. Yeah, no, because so now that he remembered power bombs, he's going back for all the power bomb areas. Indeed. This has to do with Metroid. It has everything. You don't even know yet. Yeah, exactly. And once you get the vi X-ray visor, it kind of makes everything. Um, searchable broken because you can pretty much see what everything is. So. Yeah, but like a lot of people usually would use that and just check every single last part of each room. So also, they, get ready for another Shine Spark Ho! Shine Spark Ho! Shine Spark! Ooh, and, yeah. Super Missile! And because I don't have the grapple vein yet, I'm gonna have to suffer through these spikes, but... Last, uh, you deal. have reserve tanks and you have three energy tanks on yeah, you. You should be fine. Ow. If not, you have problems. Ow. Pokey poke poke. If this was Mega Man, he would be dead. Oh, it's not. So there you go. That just proves how awesome Samus is. <laughs> Chozer, because, because Chozer was smart enough to make uh, robotic suits that weren't weak to spikes. Dr. White, you can learn a few things from the Chozo. This place looks familiar. Yeah, it's from Metroid 1. This is where yes. Mother Brain was. Uh, yes. I kinda got the idea, I just wanted to state the obvious. Oh well, I'm saying the obvious again then. Frickin' Torian. Now you're going down. Yep. Going no, down. he's going up. No, 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 I meant like, is this another section of Torian or something? No, this is Brent Star. Brent Star. Where, you, where have you been? We were just okay. here. We were here. Right. First part. Hey, first off, I've never played this game, and I kind of want to play it. I already mentioned this, and I think... Yeah. Get it on Virtual Console for 8 bucks. That's why I told what? him already. My I'm pretty sure this is, like, the starting area of Metroid 1, isn't it? Matt, Get it fixed. Matt, didn't you tell me you can at least still play Virtual Console games, not discs? I think so. Then you can still get this if you really had to. Okay. Hey, at least you're work lucky my old Wii doesn't even work, period. Every time I try to turn the damn thing off, it just shuts off because electricity killed it. I am sad. Also, yeah. this is a weird room. Oh, this really is. It. No! But anywho, we're, we're about to perform some more sequence breaking. Here, you would, need the, you would need the high jump boots and the gravity suit, but if you jump out of the door correctly, you can actually get this without needing any of that stuff. And yeah, this is a pain to do. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it takes me a, a few bit of tries before I can actually get it right. Because yeah, it, 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 you like have that jump at, right before the transition happens, and then wall jump off like the invisible platform to get up there. And it's, oh, jump. I, I made up there with a standard jump, but it's like pixel perfect, really. Pixel perfect. Yeah. You have to do it at the right timing, and you have to do it from the right angles and everything. It, it's really, really precise. Okay, uh, rule zero now. You always do that. Hey, hey break in the game. <laughs> hey. But don't forget, there's two missile tanks, not just one. Two. Hey. hey. They get cryptic, don't they? <laughs> Looks like I got the eye for uh, for missiles, don't I? Or you just like using the X-ray scope a lot in this room in the past? I guess. Either or. <laughs> hmm. I don't remember. Really, most of the stuff I know from this game is not from X-ray 
fights. There's more from like all the different playthroughs I've seen of this, so that's how I know where a lot of stuff is. And now I believe we're probably going to be heading back to Norfair, but after that, I don't remember if we pick up any more items or not. Well, that's the thing. Do you take the shortcut here to get out, Brins? You know this part. Of yeah, we. Yeah, I don't take you. Know, I mean, I, yes. Well, I need to in order to get that power up expansion. Well, yeah. Yeah. Unless you went the other way around, which I don't know why you would. You're right here. Can like, you do do a hundred percent playthrough this, don't you? Yeah, I did a hundred percent and the best ending. So. Yeah. Luckily, the best ending is actually. I think it's probably one of the easiest to get in the Metroid series in this game, because you just have to beat it under three hours. And that's not all that hard to well, do. The, the, at, at the same time, Super Metroid is longer than the GB8 uh, Metroid games, but not by much. Oh, yeah, of course, but that's because those two are handheld, so they have to be kind of short. Yeah. There's not enough memory on the space. Yeah, there's not enough memory on the cartridge, so of course it's going to be a little shorter. This You're wasting annoying. your super missiles. Well, I kind of need to because these guys are annoying as hell. I don't just use normal missiles if that's really the case. I don't know. <laughs> We're free them. You got super missiles. Now you only have three. And now we have plans. We're not going to be here for long. Yeah. We were here earlier. Oh, you remember this place, but you don't remember I the airport, remember. Brin Star. I'm sorry. Jeez. Man, you have picky memory. Hey, 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 that's my job. Oh, my yeah. memory is like Kevin's and Sons, My like. job. Oh crap, I had to change the quality. Where, where are we at? We're at 641. 641, 642, 43, 44. You can go from there. 649 at YouTube. Freaking go already. <laughs> 656, 656, 656. Moving on. 652, 656. Uh, I think I'm behind. 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 9, 7. <laughs> 706, so anyway, 5, 706, oh, oh, so you're not going for the X-ray visor now. I usually go with, without the grapple beam. Well, you, um, well, you kind of uh, have to get the X-ray uh, scope to get 100%, don't you? Oh, uh, I think so. Yeah, you have to have all the upgrades. But usually, I would just go for it without getting the grapple beam. I'll just use the ice beam and freeze the enemy, like wall jump, and just take the damage and spikes. I swear, a lot of the recordings we've done lately, I've had so many freaking video problems. Man, you too! They have so many problems and they're still needing to fix them. Yeah, especially the home page. Oh, yeah. Home page is just the least of the worries, dude. Seriously. I don't care if the page looks like a piece of crap. I don't care. As long as my videos actually play, that's what I'm more concerned about. Okay. Well, it kind of... Kinda... Did you really just walk out of the room while I was doing that? I don't think you broke that glass because of it. Yeah, because uh, apparently by the, ru the rules of screen transition, that doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. Game, quit BSing on me. Now we gotta go all the way back to Craze Lair just for one missile tank. Yeah. What also sucks is that these ads that YouTube's been, like, compiling everywhere have also been slowing down some of these pages, and it's Ad absolutely block annoying. Plus the win. Yes. Where do you find that? Where do you freaking find yeah, that? Yeah, Firefox or Chrome, just look under extensions or add-ons. Search need, for it. I need to freaking look for that after this. Yeah, it's really helpful. Disables it, all ads, really. Is it the... And it stops all the bullcrap. Pretty much. Oh, uh, uh, I'll just ask where it is after uh, part five, so... <laughs> it's, it's moments like that I wish that Samus did have the power grip here. Yeah, but one thing she does retain, though, is the, you know, the jump and ball form. We just don't get that until <laughs> just late. Okay, that that was like the most pointless one. <laughs> Shine Spark away. It, the uh, one thing I don't like about the Shine Spark in this game is it takes away health for some reason. And they don't do that in any of their other later games. I'm not sure why they did. Well, to be fair, it's the first Metroid game with the Shine Spark, so... At the same time, I think this was, like, the one that had the most bugs in it for the Shine Spark, so... Because, what was it? It was a programming error left in or something, I heard? It wasn't supposed to be here originally? Shine Sparking. Yeah, and then it just kind of, like, got left in for future games. How do you accidentally program that in the game? I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, that that's a really good question. It's like someone put it in there as a joke and forgot okay, okay, out, maybe? I think it was a pro. I think it was intentional because that one room we went through in the old Turan, you had to like fly up to get to that one expansion. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? 
That's like, like a story I heard at one point, but I'm not sure. Because that could have been something they did and then just worked around it. You never know. Also, yeah, that's the source that's of yours. I think expansion is one of the most pain in the bus expansions to get. Because all of these platforms right here are one of those ones that break as soon as you walk on them. And you gotta get the one right here, actually. Yeah, you need to freeze that guy in order to do this easily. Then from there, you just if you don't spin to spin to that, there's a good chance you're gonna miss that. And climbing all the way back up this damn thing is a <laughs> just the idea that makes me shiver. Yeah, even if you did do uh, wall climbing, just no, not gonna help. Bad idea. Hmm. Hey, um, I know that in Super Metroid they added a new area. What was it called? I can't remember. The There's two new areas, actually. There, there was uh, the Sunken Ship and Meridia. Yeah, and they're both pretty much like water-based areas, so... Oh, Jesus. That's why the Dragon Suit got, you know, introduced. Hey, look, it's that one boss that didn't make it into Metroid Zero Mission, but yet was programmed into it somehow, if you can tap into it. <laughs> yeah, what's the point of doing that? I just forgot to take that out of the coding. So the tip with this guy is super missiles like push him back like three squares and like hire a charge shot or a normal missile pit like pushes him back only one. A funny thing I should mention is that I was watching a video of like somebody like having the grapple beam at this point. I don't know how they sequence break but, but Super Metroid sequence breaking anywhere is possible but any yeah. Like somebody like if you grapple beam like the arms they come off. Seriously? Wow. wow. It's like it's all separate sprite. Wow. So um, that's... They left that in? I'm surprised. And, and the creepier thing is that his come, tongue comes off with it too, so it's like floating in the air with it. That is creepy. That's even ah! creepier than this death. <laughs> oh, 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 oh god, nope. It's like, oh, ignoring death. Ignoring death. Just, just go get the energy tank. Don't no, worry about it. I... Just go. Wow, you just... that is pretty... What the heck? That's pretty gruesome. Just wait, he comes back. All he wanted to do was hug you, and you freaking threw him into- Oh, just wait, he does come back. He does try to go for a hug. And then he falls apart. Damn it, you're a bitch. That's all I got. I just wanted to give you a hug. How could they? And of course I'm gonna shoot spikes. Oh, spikes. Hi, spikes. Oh, you still have your shine spark. Oh, never mind. Getting ready. How much full of missiles? Go! Duck, duck, duck. Ah. The spike sure killed you. Let me fire! Wasting missiles. He, he, he just oh my hard. gosh, Mr. Skeleton Dude. Well, that That's was last you see it. Like, actually. <laughs> it was, yes. And now it's time to do some more sequence breaking. By taking advantage of these little critters. Always good. Yeah, this is what I usually do too. You didn't even all screen them and they disappear. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, I love when the game does that. Makes sense. Nothing makes hey. sense to you, Lester. Nothing makes sense anymore. As I stare at this tax problem. That makes sense. See you, boom! Hey! What, what exactly is the homework over? What? What actually is the homework over? Uh, it's a... It's basically just gross income stuff right now. It's... Got a whole list of stuff, and that's about it. We haven't been really talking about this game much as, as much as tax. Tax. Well, what? I know what I'm gonna. No, well, I know what I'm gonna name this episode now. <laughs> See, Samus April owes, owes um a bunch of money to Uncle Sam. If they don't, if they if she doesn't pay it, then um the IRS are gonna come knocking on her space our spaceship door. No, they'll just get the tax monster to get him to get her. Maybe that's why she has a different ship from Prime 2 to Prime 3. There you go. <laughs> and in the uh, fusion. Best. Hey, hush you, I like Micro Prime 2. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad about it. Or did he? Yeah. No, I didn't. I still like the game. I like Prime 2. I, hate it. I like Prime 2. It's just... have, you, have you ever gone around to playing Prime 2 yet? Yeah. Or, or uh, other M? Uh, not other, other M yet, because my Wii's out of commission, remember? How do you like Prime 3, by the way? Um, Prime 3 was really good, I liked it. Yeah, actually, the funny story is, when I first got on the Trilogy, I played it, beat it in, like, 
three days, and I played it again right afterwards on the harder difficulty. I enjoyed it that much. And yeah, I, love when I don't know why. Left. I don't know why, but I felt like I've replayed Metroid Prime 3 the most. Yeah, same. But I know I have, oh. for, for a fact. And you're off my hair. Yeah, I love it. And instead of grappling over here like the game wants me to, I just do this. Even though you get the grappling hook right here anyways in this section. But it's a pain in the ass to get over here with the grappling hook, so no. Sir, I don't blame I... you doing this now, because this is why I always do too. It's easier. And faster anyways. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm sorry, but I don't like the way the grapple beam works in this game. Yeah, it has decent control. It's not the best. And next time, my friends, we shall get the grapple beam and explore what many wonders you can find with it.